This video covers the main steps of setting up your Motion Air adjustable base. To begin, place the carton in a desired location using two people to move the base at all times. Remove all tape and binding straps and lay the carton face down on the ground. Remove the base from the carton and slide off the plastic cover. Unfold the base so that the bottom side is facing up. Remove the items that were fastened to the base during shipping and set them aside. Make sure that all items are accounted for. Remove the pin and clip that are secured to the base so that you may attach the corresponding head motor bracket. Set them aside for later use. Locate the green labeled head motor bracket. Slide the groove in the head motor bracket into place over the bolts on the frame. Secure the bracket with the same pin and clip that you previously removed from the frame. Remove the pin and clip on the top of the head motor bracket and set aside. Making sure all three stickers are facing the same direction, align the holes on the base of the head motor with the holes at the top of the head motor bracket. Secure the connection using the previously removed pin and clip. Remove the pin and clip at the head end of the frame and set aside. Align the holes of the white end of the head motor with the holes in the frame. Secure the connection with the previously removed pin and clip. Plug the head motor cable into the white labeled head port on the control box. Remove the pin and clip that are secured to the base so that you may attach the corresponding foot motor bracket. Locate the yellow labeled foot motor bracket. Slide the groove in the foot motor bracket into place over the bolt on the frame. Secure the connection with the previously removed pin and clip. Remove the pin and clip from the top of the foot motor bracket and set aside. Making sure that all three stickers are facing the same direction, align the holes on the base of the foot motor with the holes at the top of the foot motor bracket. Secure the connection using the previously removed pin and clip. Remove the pin and clip where you will attach the white end of the foot motor. Then align the holes of the white end of the foot motor with the holes in the frame. Secure the connection using the previously removed pin and clip. Plug the foot motor cable into the foot port on the control box. Uncoil the input cord and plug it into the power supply. Then plug the power cord into the power supply. The legs are shipped fully assembled, but note that the legs can untwist into separate sections for custom leg height options. This base requires a minimum leg height of 6 inches. Screw the legs into the nutsert on each corner of the frame and opposite sides in the middle. Be careful not to over tighten. Using two people, carefully flip the base over onto its legs. Do not drag across the floor or rest the frame on its side as excessive pressure may damage the legs. Insert each end of the mattress retainer bar into the holes at the foot of the base. Rotate the bar so that it rests on the edge of the base. Remove the backside of the remote and install the remote batteries. Plug the base into a working power source. A surge protector is strongly recommended. Setup is now complete. Check to ensure the remote functions are working properly before placing the mattress onto the base. See the owner's manual for additional information or call customer service at 1-888-550-3746.